Matthew Reiner. Welcome to art class. It was so nice to be back and to, um, to do an art class with you. I, I love making crafts and sharing them with you. So let's, well, let's get started today because, you know, it's February and Valentine's Day is coming up. And well, I thought it'd be really fun to make a Valentine's project for art class. And um, what I think we're going to do is, well, what do I, know? What I think? I mean, what I know we're going to do is we're going to actually make a uh, Valentine's um, gift box and it's gonna have a little card in the front. Maybe we'll make it pop up just because, you know, that's who I am. That's what I do, right? Right? Hey, we'll make it really easy though, okay? So we're gonna make a little Valentine's gift box. It's kind of inspired by uh, like, you know, those candy little hearts that you get. I can never do this with my hand. There you go. Those little candy hearts, you know, in the box. You know, I thought it'd be really fun. You wanna do that? Well, let's get started. But what we need to do first is we need to make the heart shape. Okay, so how do we make a heart shape? Now this, the reason why I'm thinking about this is this is the heart shape that we're gonna use for all the pieces that we have to make. So this is gonna be our template, all right? So let's take a piece. Now you see how that I cut off the corner um, of that piece of cardstock, right? And I'm gonna fold it in half because a, a heart is always symmetrical. Let's just draw one side of our heart here. And I'm just gonna do it roughly. Let's, okay, let's pull it. Now that I've, I've penciled in, I'm gonna cut around. We're gonna use this to trace a lot. We're gonna trace this template a lot to make all of our heart pieces. Okay, so we've got our template and we need to make lots of copies of this heart. And we're gonna start the box first. So let me pick some cardstock that I like the color for. Ooh, I like, let's see which one do I like? Ooh, I like this really bright pink. All right, so we're gonna use this pink and I'm gonna trace this heart. So I'm gonna trace it two times. Let's go ahead and cut these out. I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors and cut them out. Alrighty, so I put glue on one of those hearts. See like that? I'm just gonna put this on top of it. Reason why I'm doing this is that this is just gonna make it a little bit um, stronger. Now we need two more hearts. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna cut a smaller heart into the center. So we're gonna take our other heart that we need to cut out, right? Let's cut it out, it's gonna be the top. So we're gonna just lay this on top, and I'm gonna trace that heart. See, just like that? I'm gonna trace it on there. And how am I gonna cut it out? How do I get in there? Well, I could, you know, poke my way through there if I want. Actually, I think I'm going to. Just gonna poke it in. My scissors. Can you get, can you see, <clears throat> can you see where the heart outline is? And I'm just gonna follow along. Cut that out. Just like that. Mm. Oops, I'm not following along that line. I'm trying to rush. Don't rush when you're doing a project. Take your time. You know, if you're, if you're a little behind me, you can always pause the video and catch up with me. So don't feel rushed. All right. So there we go, two hearts, just like that. And, one, and they have the hole. And we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna glue one on top of the other so that it's nice and strong. So we'll just paint a little glue right in that space. Be sure not to to, uh, and be sure to spread it around. See how I've sort of spread it so that it's on all the edges and stuff like that. Now you don't want just like one big glob on there. You want to make sure that, you know, it's spread all around. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll sort of move it. See how I'm moving it around? And that's spreading the glue underneath. And before you really stick it down. There we go. Now there, now we can press it. All right, there we go. That is and I'm gonna use these little scissors. See how the hearts don't quite meet up? I'm just gonna get rid of some of that little extra bit just so our heart looks nice. See that little ugly area of that heart? I'm just gonna just gonna curve it off just a teensy bit. There we go. All right, so now that's the top. And I'm gonna put a little, I'll just put a little teeny T there. And I'm gonna, um, see the little T? I'm gonna erase that later on. That's the top and that's the bottom. See how that is? But we need to make the in-between, right? We need to make the edge along the side. Let's, before we do that, this is gonna be the hole in the top of our, our box, 
but we're going to need a lid for it. So let's go ahead and make the lid. And now this was what we cut out, right? But we need to make the lid just a bit bigger, just a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this right here. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. And I'm going to make the lid a bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to fold this down the center. This is just some of my scrap um, paper. That's what's so great about having, you know, whenever you make a project and you have extra, just keep that extra cardstock or whatever <clears throat> material that you, you might have because you never know if you're going to need it. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to make a, a heart that's going to be a bit bigger. So, so you can see I'm, I'm folding. Let's, let's move in here a little closer. So we're going to make the heart that's the lid just a bit bigger. See, I'm just tracing around it just like that. Okay. All right. So I made that, that one half of the heart. I'm going to cut around it. There we go. Bing! Oh, look at that heart. That is going to be our lid on top of this. I think, hmm, how should we have the lid go? Should we have it go down like this way? Should we have it go? I think I like it going or down. I think we're going to have it on the top like that. So let's do this. Let's take this heart and I'm just going to use my ruler just like that. Make a little line going across the top. See, let's see, line it up like that. Let's do it like something like this. See, I'm going to do this. Just make a little pencil mark. And that's going to be where my fold is. I just need a, an idea of how, where I'm supposed to fold it. So there, I fold it there. Fold a little there. Just so I know where that line is. All right, that's going to be the hinge. And I'm just going to glue it down, just like that. So let's take some glue, glue, put it on that. Oh, this is the glue that's all stopped up. i got to fix that. Arr. All right. And there we go. And I'm just going to glue it on top of our lid there. Or that's the top of the, the box, right? So I just glued it up. Look at that. So I just glued it on top. That's going to be our opening lid to our, our heart box, right? And we have the bottom that goes down under here. Now we need to make the center. Now this part is a little hard, so let's get started doing that. All right, next up, let's take some more of this uh, cardstock and we're going to mark, we're going to make some strips. We're going to probably need about three or four strips and we're going to make the strips about, oh, about an inch tall. Okay, so next, in order to attach the, um, the wall, the side walls of our box, see it's gonna kinda look like that, see how that curves around? So that's gonna be the top and those will be the side walls. In order to make that, we're gonna have to make some little connector, like little tabs that go um, across each one of these long side walls here. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna take some scrap paper. Oh, we got tons of it over here. Let's use this. See, and we're gonna make <clears throat> we're gonna make some strips. These strips do not have to be um, perfectly measured or anything like that, but they do. They do need what they're gonna do is they're gonna cross over like that. See, they're gonna go like that, so we can glue it here and here to each side. So you, they need to be at least taller by a good amount. So let's make a bunch of those. All right, so. Now, we've got our little strips. Let's get started. What we're going to do, I think, is we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to glue a t along these edges. So we're going to do one, two, let's see. We have to do this five times. So, see, one's going to go that way. Let's see, two three, 
Well, one on the end. Eh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that looks good. So we're going to do it like that. Once it dries, we're going to fold it. And we're going to fold it going this way too. Just make sure that there's a fold. See how that goes there? There's another one. We're going to fold that. Let's fold this one going this way and this way. Sometimes you'll see me and I'll fold it both ways. And the reason why I do that is just, uh, it's just easier to find that fold. And then this one here. Let's take one of these long strips. Look at that. We're going to just make a little fold going just like this at the tip. See how I did that? All right. Now we're going to line up that fold. Just see where the point of the heart is? Let's go in there and look. Okay. We're going to take a little glue. We're going to put it right here. I'm going to leave the, the lid off. We're going to line it up kind of like this. Oopsie. Make sure you got stuck down there. Look at that. See, that's where the bottom part of the heart is, or the top part. See where that, where that little point is? That point lines up. And now, let's just put some glue on this tab. And we're going to fold it down. And we're going to follow with our, our side strip. See, look at that. It's glued in place. Look at that. It's following along that curve. And I'm just holding it and pinching it there for a second or two or three. And then let's go to the next one. Put a little glue here. Now be patient with your glue. Sometimes it takes longer for some glue to um, set than others. So you might have to hold it for a minute. So look, I'm following along with my tabs. Look, and they're sticking out the bottom. And the reason why that's really good is because we're going to do the bottom part with that. All right, I'm going around there. Let's go ahead and do this side. Now what do I do? I, or this, this tab here. Follow. Hold it, pinch. Look at that. Look at that beautiful curve there. And it's right along the edge of our top piece. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool how you can get paper to curve like this, right? It's a flat object, and we're turning it into a 3D object. Ah, paper is a really neat uh, material. It's my favorite one to work with. All right, there we go. There is the last tab on that side. Look at that. So we made one side of our box. And now what do we do at this point? Well, let's go ahead and fold it. I'm going to fold it this way first. All right. Now we can fold it over and start doing our heart going that way. Now let's add strips to this side as well. What are we going to do about that? What are we going to do? I think what we should do, let's cut it here. OK? And then we'll use a new strip, this one right here, and start all over again. So let's start from the top. And what we're going to do is we can glue it here and here. Let's put some glue on here, just like before, right? But this time, we're going to add some glue to this end piece right there, right? So we glue that, glue that, let's glue this on top. So here's the end. There we go. There's that part. So we'll glue it in there and pinch it. Remember, when you pinch it, you hold it in place for a second or two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on, glue. Come on, dry glue. All right. So we've got that part attached. Let's do the next tab. Put some glue on that tab, just like that. See how much I put on there? And let's curve it around the edge. All right, so we've got this glued. We have this extra piece here. First, let's cut off the extra um, strip. It should be cut right about there. All right, and we just need to glue it 
right here. Look at that. Oh, well, you used a little too much glue. Let me get out of the way. That's, or spread it around. See how I spread it there? And now we'll just pinch it shut. Hold it. Make sure there's not too much extra glue on the outside there. Look at that! We've got part of the box finished. Look at that, the top part. Oh, don't forget to hold it. Be patient, Matthew, be patient. I know it's hard for me to be patient when I'm so excited about making this. All right, so there we go. That is the top of the box. Now we have to glue the bottom. And it's just like the top, but let's make sure that it's glued, that there's glue in this little area. See how there's not a lot of glue there? Let's make sure it's glued up until the edge. See, kind of like that. Let's glue it there, let's fold it. Let's make sure all of those are have enough glue. Started on gluing all these tabs down to the bottom of our box. Oops, I used too much there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. All right, now we're gonna make sure all of our tabs are folded inwards, right? Mm, look at that, and it goes inwards, because we don't wanna see the tabs. We don't wanna see them. I'm gonna make sure that they're all folded in like this. And let's get the bottom of our box. There's the bottom. I'm gonna erase the B because we know that it's the bottom now. And see, they're gonna just glue right on top of that. So what do we do? We're gonna put some glue on each one of these tabs. We're gonna turn this over and we're gonna carefully place this over the other heart piece, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of press, let's look and see. You can see, oh, oops, I moved it, oopsies. Okay, we're gonna make sure that it's lined up pretty good, oh, that's pretty good, it's pretty good. Okay, so let's look in here. Do you see those little tabs inside? Let's press them down, press them down in place. I'm gonna just move in there, press them with my finger, Make sure that they're sort of pressed into position properly. Let's go over here. And just go around each side, press down each one of those tabs. See? Okay, now my box is dry. Look at this. So let's look inside. There are the tabs. You see them? They all dry. Now, if you don't like that the edge, you know, so we can see that we can see a little bit of the inside from that. Um, here's what we can do to fix that. But it looks really good otherwise. We're just gonna take and to fix that, I'm just gonna make one more heart and I'm just gonna trace the outside of the box. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the outside of this box here. It'll be just slightly bigger than the heart that we just cut. So see, I, I traced it there. And we're just gonna glue one more thing on the bottom that's just a bit bigger so it'll cover up that little gap. All right, so it's just one more heart that we're gonna add on to the bottom and it'll be good because it'll make that bottom just a little bit stronger. See, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue that to the bottom just like that and it'll cover it up. So we'll take some of that glue again. You know, sometimes things happen along the way and it doesn't look as good as you like. Well, there are ways to fix that. See, I told you I'd make some mistakes. There we go. That's how we can fix it. See, look, now you don't even see that. You don't even see it anymore on the back side. Look at that though. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. So we've made our little, we can put candy in here, but I think it would be cool if we made like a little card that went on top of this, don't you? Like maybe a little, hmm, maybe a little heart-shaped pop-up card. What do you think? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think though for my pop-up heart card, hmm, it needs to be, the heart needs to be a little smaller than the area underneath the fold. See the fold here? right there, this heart needs to fit underneath it. So let's cut this heart. This is gonna be our new template heart. This is gonna be for a little pop-up card that goes on top. Let's see, does that fit on top? Ooh, that fits nicely, do you see that? All right, we're gonna put that on top. This is just gonna be our template. So I'm gonna write on here another, 
um, pop up card template just so we don't get confused and use it okay so look at that's our template and let's see should we do it the same I'm gonna just put this in my my box here hmm should I uh, let's let's make let's make it a different color the card let's use a different pink I got so many pinks here Ooh, ooh I like this one and what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna make um, instead of the card opening this way I think we're gonna have a hinge along this side so what I want to do is let's see here Ooh, that'll work let's let's take a chunk of this paper off all right so we've got taking another piece of cardstock and I'm gonna fold it let's see I'm gonna fold it right there let's see something like that okay and let's see does our heart fit oh yeah it does it fits really nicely we're going to trace it and so along one of this this is a fold here right I'm just going to show you how this works so we're going to trace it on this side there and there and the reason why we made this template is so that we can make sure that our heart is at least symmetrical right and there can you see that can you see my tracing there with pencil now I'm going to take my scissors yada day now you don't have to make a pop-up inside of it but I just thought it'd be fun just because it will add a little something fun inside who cares all right so there we go so I've made my little card and this is actually gonna go on top of the uh, box lid and it'll open I think down that way right that's that seems like a good idea right um, and maybe we'll make a little pop-up that goes inside here all right, so let's add a little pop-up inside of this. Now this is gonna be, you know, we're doing this freehand, okay? So we're gonna ne need a little bit of extra um, cardstock. I'm gonna use white just because it might be a little bit easier to see. And I'm gonna make a little rectangle. Okay, so this is our heart card, right? And we're gonna need to make a pop-up that goes inside there that fits in. So we're gonna make this little rectangle. We're gonna fold it in half. You're gonna need to make sure that the rectangle is smaller than your heart. Let's let's look at the size of the rectangle next to our little heart open card. Okay, so there's the rectangle. Should be about that big. Okay. So we folded it in half. Right? And now we're going to fold two little triangles going here, one here on this side. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mark them with pencil just so you can see where all my fold lines are. You do not need to do this, but I'm going to do it so you can see everything in here. I'm going to show you the center line of our, of our little card there. So we've got a triangle there. Let's do a little triangle on this side the same way. See how it's folded up and it goes right to the center fold line. And I'm going to use my pencil so I can see it. Look at that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half again. And I'm going to make another fold that's parallel to this one. So watch what I do. I'm going to fold it going this way. See how I folded that? So they're parallel. Those lines are, they're going. And this way, it's on both sides, see? And let's, let's make, I'm just going to use my pencil to mark it. You do not have to mark it, okay? Sometimes you can't see, because when you're shooting these videos, sometimes you can't see anything. I'm, I see it perfectly, but you may not see it. We want you to see it. That's more important than me seeing it. Okay. And here's how it's going to fold. It's going to fold inward like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to check it before we glue it down. We're just going to place it. We're going to place this, this pop-up piece in the center. Let's look. Is it lined up with the center here? Let's pull in close. Get in closer. We got to see this. We're going to line it up at the center. We're not gluing anything down yet. We're just testing it first. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it so that it goes, see how it goes in like that? Look at that. It's pretty cool, right? Now, what I can see right now is it doesn't, it's not going to fit. Look at that. We're going to have to cut all that out. I'm just going to mark it. And there's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut that piece. I'm going to cut that shape right out. 
Okay, so this is what we've got left. Hmm. I think I'll curve this a little. Curve that. Curve that. So now let's see. That's going to fit right there. Let's let's fold it. That's what's going to look like when it's closed. That's what's going to look like. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue it down. Here's what I'm. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to curve these. I think. Well, I don't know. Let's. I think I'm going to keep them. So let's get some glue. And I'm going to put some glue on this side. See that little corner there? Put a little glue on this side. I, I think I overdid with the glue. Got to get rid of some of that. There we go. And now I'm going to line it up in the center. See how I've lined it up? Push it down to the bottom. See, let's see if that's lined up with the center there. Glue it on both sides. <clears throat> Pressing it down. So now, when our pop-up opens and closes, look, it hides our pop. We open it. Ah, that's so nice. Look at that. We just made a little pop to go inside our card. Okay, so let's get to decorating this. Mm. Hey, look at that. Look, I made my little card. I made, you know, my first attempt, it didn't look so good. So I fixed it and I added a, another cover on. So it says, I love, and you open it up. Mew. Look at that, isn't that cute? Oh, look at that. And we're gonna glue it on top of our lid of our box here. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the back. Mm-hmm. I'm going to glue it right on top and I'm going to make sure that it does not go over the edge of that fold because then we won't be able to open our box. I think I'm going to decorate all around here and stuff just to give it a little bit of zing. All right, here it is. Look at that, we've made our very own pop-up card slash um, Valentine's box. Look at this, we can put candies in there. Hey, you got some candies? And we can give it to them and they can go, oh, look at what I got, this is so nice. Oh, I love you. Oh, look at that, it's so cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making this Valentine's box with me with in art class today. It was really fun. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And it's just cardstock and glue and, and a little creativity. And um, hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below because that really helps us. And um, if you want to check out more videos, you can be sure to check all the different kinds of art class videos, pop-up masterclass videos, and there's all kinds of other. We have a whole new learning unit se series of um, DIY videos. I'm so glad to be able to share this with you. I will see you next time, everyone. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying bye-bye. See you in art class. Bye again.